Oh man, my phone's dead. Now it's full. Hey, Trace here for DNews. I have to say, if this technology pans out, we are in for some amazing advancements. Graphene is a one atom thick, carbon-based, flexible, capacitive material. It's biodegradable, it's cheap to make, and it is the strongest material on the planet. Scientists have been working on graphene since the 1840s, and after 160 years of research, they finally made some in like, 2004 using scotch tape. Graphene is made from graphite. It's the same thing that you would find in a number two pencil. And while cleaning a graphite rock with some tape, these researchers discovered they'd accidentally made graphene. Their discovery caused Andrei Geim and Konstantin Novoselev to be awarded the Nobel Prize for Physics in 2010. Now that we know how to make it, scientists are working on what we can do with it. As we all know, batteries suck. They just they just suck. If there's a bottleneck with current technology, it's definitely batteries, and it's how crappy they are. They run out of juice, they die, they overheat, they take forever to charge, and they are environmentally disastrous, to be honest. What if we replaced batteries with graphene supercapacitors, huh? Huh? A supercapacitor is different from a battery. A battery uses a chemical reaction to produce a stream of electrons. It's a lot of work for not a lot of payoff. A capacitor, on the other hand, cuts out that chemical middleman completely and simply holds on to the electrons until you need them. And a supercapacitor does that even more so. After only a few seconds of charging, researchers at UCLA were able to use graphene to sustain a light bulb for minutes, Captain. Minutes! They also found a cheap and quick way to manufacture graphene using an ordinary DVD burner and liquid carbon. So how is this gonna change your life in every way possible? If scientists and industries can get this technology to market, you could see a complete change in the idea of electricity storage. Cell phone batteries wouldn't only increase in capacity. I mean, that's nothing. They would also charge in seconds. Instead of going to a gas station, you could pull your electric car into a power station and charge the whole thing in minutes. And your tablet computer? Don't even get me started. Not only would it charge easily and quickly and have a great capacity, but as a bonus, graphene is translucent and flexible, so you could roll that baby up and stick it right in your back pocket. Another amazing thing is that graphene is just carbon. Essentially, the same thing as charcoal. So when you're done with it, you throw it into the compost pile. You don't even have to throw it in the trash. Just take it to your garden and put it in with your plants. <laughs> My whole life, we've heard about solar energy and how great it is. The only problem is we can't store all of the energy the sun sends us in a day. With graphene, we could print solar panels that store the electrons right there and literally save them for a rainy day. Seriously, I cannot wait to see where this goes. Can you tell I'm excited? I also can't wait to see what people do with it. So why don't you tell me? If you had a super capacitor, what would you make? Share it with us in the comments and don't say a freeze ray. Dr. Horrible has already got that taken care of. And thanks for watching DNews. I hope you are looking forward to the future as much as I am. So come on, let's get on our way. See you next time.